How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Solar and today I want to walk you through a better way to monitor the voltage, current, power output, and overall energy production from a single solar panel like this or maybe an entire DIY system that you're setting up. Now traditionally I've just used a clamp meter like one of these but keep in mind if you're going to do the clamp meter method to monitor the current you need to get the right version. This Klein Tools CL120 is actually a lower end clamp meter and does not have DC current monitoring so you'd have to go with a more capable version like this ideal. 61-747 which does have DC DC monitoring. In this case, with a capable clamp meter, you just clamp around one of the conductors and you can get the current amperage that that solar panel organ system is putting out. Then when it comes to voltage, I was usually just using the multimeter functionality on that same clamp meter to monitor the open circuit voltage. So nothing plugged in. I want to measure the voltage, which would be considered the open circuit voltage. And that was really to line up with the specification sheet to compare the open circuit voltage as I measured to what was listed on the back of the spec sheet. But I always felt that was falling a little short. Just the open circuit voltage and current that was actually produced when I plugged it into, say, an EcoFlow Delta Pro to start charging up the battery, that was a good start, but I wanted to know more, especially when I'm setting up multiple panels in different wiring configurations like series, parallel or a combination in series parallel wiring. So the good news is for a very minimal investment, there is actually a better way that's going to give you voltage, current, power output, and over a duration of time, how much energy have we actually produced. So the better solution off of Amazon for about $13 to $15, you can get this simple power analyzer. Now these power analyzers are used for remote control cars, drones, car battery analysis, but also work great for solar panels like the one behind me. Now you will see a link in the description to this exact unit. It maxes out at 150 amps, which is well above what I need but it maxes out at 100 volts, which technically is a little shy of what I can bring into the EcoFlow Delta Pro, which I'm testing out right now. So I got one laying on the ground right out there that's been doing a test for some time. Right when you plug in this unit, it will start accumulating. Remember, we're not just doing instantaneous voltage, amperage, and power, but we're accumulating up energy over a duration of time. So the clock starts kind of right when you plug that in. So we'll go check out exactly what's reading out on the LCD display. But but before we do that, don't forget if you guys have any questions on your DIY setups or if you're considering a professionally installed solution, you can also see a link down below the video to our Facebook group. That's just a bunch of homeowners, some professionals, myself in that group, asking and answering questions to hopefully help you guys out along on your projects. Also, if you want to start investigating how much would it actually be to put solar panels on my roof to completely eliminate my power bill, you'll see a link down in the description. You'll put in a few different pieces of information about your home and your location and then that will calculate out what size system a rough estimate remember that is a rough estimate on your home because there's many factors that will actually determine that price but at least it'll give you in the ballpark so let's go take a look at the unit and don't forget stick around to the end because we'll talk about mc4 connectors which you'll need as well all right so let's take a look at this little guy we'll try to reduce the amount of glare that you guys are seeing but upper left hand corner, you'll see the current amperage. Now the sun is blazing right now, so it's getting pretty much a full amperage. The voltage running in, these are all real time. So amperage, voltage, real time, and then that overall resultant power that the solar panel is putting out. Now in the lower left hand corner, you'll be rotating across multiple different parameters. That is watt hours. So during this test, how many watt hours have we produced? The peak amperage. What is the overall average voltage? What is the peak power that we produced? And then the amp hours that we've accumulated. And then it'll just cycle back through. So that is exactly what you're reading out. And it's as easy as that. You're just putting it in line here with your MC4 connectors. So it really doesn't get much easier. So overall, pretty handy for troubleshooting, but also if you have multiple different options in terms of how you're gonna arrange your solar panels, having one of these can really help you see that resultant voltage and amperage to make a smart decision for your DIY setup. Just know, it's gonna come like this. So if you order it off Amazon, you're just gonna get the small positive and negative off of your source and load side, and you are gonna have to install the MC4 connectors. Don't worry, it's really easy, and if you need help, Check out this video right here. I'll walk you through how to go ahead and crimp on and install those MC4 connectors. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.